everyone. Today we're going to talk about fasting and detoxing, you know, cleansing, detoxes, all different kinds. You know, there's different kinds of fasting, fat fasting, water fasting, fruit fasting, smoothie fasting, um, juice fasting, all these different things. And if you're trying to do them for weight loss, I really don't recommend you do it. Sit. No, that's enough. Um, and the reason being is a lot of times to induce weight loss, you're not going to experience weight loss long term. Sure, you're going to lose weight very quickly. Um, I've known several girls that have done juice cleanses or something because they had a wedding coming up or an event they wanted to lose, you know, five to 10 pounds for. So they fasted for like two weeks and then the day of that wedding or whatever, then they ate a ton. But the second they added food back or within a couple days, they'd already gained that weight back because their bodies was like, what are you doing? And um, even like keto fasting, I've seen a lot of women trying to do the bulletproof coffee and just eating that for breakfast and end up retaining water weight and not losing weight because it's making their body nervous or um, their hormones, I mean. And then a lot of times they tend to overeat or get hungry really late at night because their bodies are still trying to catch up calorie wise. So I think for a lot of people, it can be more harmful than good um, if, you're, if you're doing it for weight loss, I'm talking about. Now, these are my own personal thoughts and opinions and based off my personal experience. Um, I've done juice fasting. I've done smoothie detoxes. Um, after I'd gotten out of the hospital, I couldn't eat a lot of food or the fasting. I think fasting kind of feels good because you can kind of purge some things and it's good to empty your bowels. But um, in the long run or with hunger, it just messed up my stomach. Then trying to add food back in, I think it can mess with bacteria in your gut, things like that. I think if you're going to do fasting, I think what we need to see fasting as is like maybe for two months you don't eat sweets or desserts or you do, and you'll lose weight too, doing completely cleansed because if you're eating healthy, you shouldn't need to detox or cleanse. Your body is detox. You're not putting junk into it. You know, that's why I think if you want to do anything, try going to be more in control, like stay away from keto treats for a whole month or two months. Yep, they're playing together. <laughs> Try, uh, seriously. So, try maybe adding, um, well, not adding, well, adding good food, but maybe taking out dairy for two weeks. Maybe taking out your coffee, you know, things like that. Try to do a little bit of those fasting. I think that's going to shake up the weight a lot more for you or learning that you'd don't need to be so dependent on sugar, um, especially if you're doing that or being careful not to overeat, you know, just for two months, be like, you know, what? I'm not going to overeat on anything. I just want to eat normal amounts. I think those are better goals and things to tackle more so than trying to fast or water fast. And because typically we're probably not doing them right anyways. And there's even ways to break a fast. If you don't know that, um, you know, if you have been just drinking water for a week, a day or two, depending on what you put on your body next, I mean, you've been fasting. So if you do something sugar or fruit or some certain things, like that's going to hit you hard. Like that's going to hit your blood sugar and stuff really quickly that that could mess you up. Your body's like, whoa, retain fluid rather than giving it the right thing. So if you're going to do it, definitely follow a doctor. I would try even partial day fasting, then maybe move it, you know, try just for a week to do that. If you retain fluid, I really wouldn't recommend it. I just think eating a healthier diet, that's really where we need to go. If you want a quick weight loss because you do have an event and you don't really care about putting the weight on, just eat really healthy. Do some salads, do some healthy, you know, even cut out the fruits, do just the vegetables and some proteins and you'll lose the weight, you know, add a protein shake in there if you're really craving that sugar or something like that. 
or even try, you know, just shaking things up a little bit. And that's going to be a lot better for you than like the detoxing and the fasting is going to be most of the time. <laughs> what are you doing? So um, that's my opinion. Those are my recommendations. Um, just really look into it and research it. Don't do it for weight loss. If you do want to do it for weight loss, I highly recommend you figure out how to lose weight first because if fasting is the only way you know how to lose weight, then you're going to keep putting the weight back on. You want to learn how to lose weight without fasting, without doing any of that stuff because eventually you're going to want to eat food again or your body's going to tell you to eat. So <clears throat> if anything, if you want to do a major fast, maybe just once a week, um, and do it that way or just for a partial period of time or for a certain thing. Like I said, you can fast water, you can fast fat, you can fast eggs, you can fast different foods. And that might help you even just see how you feel. Like for a week, just cut out eggs, see what that does to your body. Cut out dairy, cut out nuts. And maybe try some fasting like that instead. And you might even find, um, what am I trying to say? An intolerance. And that could actually be stopping you from lose weight, lose weight, losing weight. But just be careful what you're doing, especially if you're just having like caffeine in the morning, that it can actually just make you retain fluid. So just be careful and really think about it before you try to do any detoxing. Um, for long-term weight loss or anything, I'm really not for it. Maybe for some health benefits or you're trying to heal something, yeah, it might be a good idea to do a little bit of fasting, but then follow up with the doctor and make sure you're doing it right or really do your research first. It's not that it's bad. It's just the reasons why we do it aren't a lot of times the best reasons. So like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.